Hello class, welcome back to our multimedia class. So far we have discovered about text, image and audio in multimedia representation. This chapter will discuss about video representation. Normally video presentation compose of other elements too like text, image and audio. Video is basically a sequence of image in series playback at certain frame rate. This is the outline of this lecture. We will learn some introduction of video, learn a few types of video signal, compare the difference between analog and digital video, video format and how to calculate video file size. So, video is a combination of image and audio, with actual photographs of real-world object taken through a camera. Then video capture at a certain frame rate per second will combine sequences of images to form a moving pictures. Video product based perform excellent presentation for information delivering. Therefore, video demand high memory and storage. We can see the history of video delivery started using videotapes and now enhanced to high capacity of memory card. Even in this new era, video conferencing. Online video call has become a popular demand to many people. Video can be produced either in analog or digital form. In an analog video signal, each frame of the video is represented by a fluctuating voltage signal known as an analog waveform which referred to as composite video. Composite analog video has all the video components, including brightness, color and synchronization which combined into one signal. Another one is component video. Component video is more advanced, where it takes different components of videos such as brightness, color, and synchronization into separate channels. It breaks them into separate signals. You can spot the difference at your old Astro TV box or video player. There are two types of cables which meant for audio and video. Look at this figure, composite video requires only one cable for video, which is the yellow plug. While component video breaks the video into red, green and blue plug. Normally you can find this type of cable for HDTV and progressive DVD. Analog video for TV broadcasting is the most important resources of video. Some of the standard for TV broadcasting that used composite video are NTSC, PAL, SECAM and HDTV. The difference of these standards are the scan lines and scan rate. You can see from this figure that different country region in this world use different types of standard. The largest areas are in yellow, PAL or SECAM standard. As I mentioned just now. One of the difference of these standards are scan lines. Scanning lines for analog video can be categories into either interlaced scanning or progressive scanning. You can spot this information when you purchase a new TV. You can see the details of the product for example 1080p mode or 1080i mode. So, what does this I and P referring to? The value normally indicate the resolution of that product either 720 or 1080 which normally the wide area of the screen and number of resolution. The more resolution definitely give better display. Then what is the difference between interlaced and progressive scanning? The I and P mode. Look at this video. The interlaced scanning only displays half the number of lines in an image. While progressive video display twice as much lines compared to interlaced scanning. Normally interlaced scanning is on TV and progressive scanning is for HD video, computer monitor or projector. What is the difference between analog and digital video? Digital video is digitization of analog video signals. It creates the illusion of motion by displaying a rapid sequence of changing images on a display device. For example is digital camera, once we capture or record a video. It requires ADC, the analog to digital converter to convert the analog signal and convert to digital signal to record the video and convert back to analog signal for playback. 
This video format can be in the form of MPEG video. There are many types of MPEG format which differs in terms of the compression algorithm methods and also considering device for playback. Digital video comprised of three basic requirements which are frame rate, frame size and color depth. Frame rate is the number of images displayed within one second. Frame size is the height and width of each frame image. While the color depth or resolution is the amount of color for each pixel within each frame or image. So the frame rate, size and color depth will cost the video size stored in your memory. It is important to select the suitable image resolution to store the file at a minimum amount of space while maintaining the best view to the audience especially for video transmission, video streaming and video broadcasting purposes. So, you can calculate the video file size by frame rate, frame size, color depth and duration of the video. For example, if you have a 2 hour video 24p true cinema with a frame size of full HD, 1920 by 1080 pixels, a color depth of each frame is 16 bits. Calculate the uncompressed video size in megabytes. Given that the frame rate is 24 frames per second, frame size is 1920 by 1080 pixels with 16 bits color depth for each frame for a 2 hours video duration which is 3600 seconds video. So, multiply all this value to get the file size. So, how to convert bits per second to megabytes per second? Do you still remember the rules? That 1 byte is 8 bits and 1 kilobyte is equivalent to 1024 bytes. So that you can convert the video file size from 796,262,400 bits per second to megabytes per second or gigabytes per second. Try to calculate this and solve on your own. So, this is the end of chapter 6 for video in multimedia representation. Thank you class and see you in the next video.